It is too often that I have to say, I'm so sorry I cannot be with you on this day. Again, I'm saying the same thing that I've said so many times before to, to different gatherings all over the world. I'm so sorry I cannot be here with you today. But of course, my thoughts are with you, uh, my spirit is with you, and I perfectly agree with you that we must speak up and speak out for freedom and human rights. We have been doing that in Burma for over 20 years and people are now beginning to see that these 20 years have not been in vain. It is important that people speak up and speak out. When I, was going, when I went on a tour of the country back in 2002 to 2003, uh, people asked me what they could do. I knew then that our people had been badly intimidated by the military regime and so I would say to them, you must start by refusing to say something is good if it is not good or saying something is just if it is not just. You start that way, then gradually go on to say that this is unjust, this is bad and then you go on to follow up your words with appropriate action. So speaking up and speaking out is an important step in our fight for freedom and human rights. People have to have the courage to stand up and say, this we will not tolerate, this we will not accept, this is not what is right for humanity. By finding the strength to speak up, we strengthen others. I believe that the National League for Democracy has helped to keep a light hope in the hearts of the people of Burma by speaking out for freedom and for human rights. I wish very much that we could pull all these voices speaking up for human rights and freedom and make the sound of freedom and rights. I would like all the voices speaking up for freedom and rights to be combined so that nobody anywhere in the world can be deaf to the sound of that call. I hope that our voices here in Burma can be added to yours and together we will be able to take our world one step forward in the fight for freedom and rights.